back to reality. Okay, so this full face of makeup I just did in a video. Uh, bold brows and a red lip, fall trend, apparently. I've gotten a few requests to do a video about eyelashes, like fake eyelashes. Um, and so this works out perfectly because I wanted to do an eye look where you could see my lash line really clearly. Check. And it's the last thing you do in a makeup routine. Anyway, so it all works out nicely that my makeup's done already. Um, and so if you want to learn more about lashes, please keep watching. There are a couple different types of lashes you can use. A couple like main ones, I guess. You can get professional eyelash, eyelash like extensions and thickening things. But if you just go to the store and look for fake eyelashes, these are the things you'll find. You will find these, which is a pair of eyelashes. These are blah. These are by. Ah! These are by Ardell, and I've seen this brand in lots of places. I got mine from Target. Um, they were four bucks, I think. Um, but you can get eyelashes that are like psycho expensive if you want to. They have plenty of eyelashes at Sally's Beauty, I think, at Sephora. I don't look for them very often because when I do weddings, I don't do a full set of eyelashes. Um, I do individual lashes, and that's that's what these guys are. So, on brides that don't want a full set of lashes on their wedding day because they still want to look like themselves, I do individual lashes and I just put one or two on the outer corners and just kind of opens their eyes and gives them a little glam on their wedding day. And then some eyelashes come with glue. Yeah, don't, it's okay. It's glue that's really easy to peel off it's meant to be stuck to your hairs and your skin. Don't worry. Um, some eyelashes come with glue, but the best glue I have found is by Duo. Duo Eyelash Adhesive. Mine right now is clear. It dries clear. It comes out white, so it, and then it dries clear, like, like Elmer's glue. Um, you can get glue that dries black, which uh, you could do unless you're scared of, like, putting them in the wrong spot, taking them off, and putting them, and then there's just like that mark there. Um, so I prefer this, especially when brides don't want to look like super glammed up and super crazy. I use this and the individual lashes. But today I'm going to show you how to put on a pair of lashes, which I actually haven't done in a while, but there's a period of time in my life, let me tell you about that when I, as I peel these off. There's a period of time in my life when I had to wear fake eyelashes every day for three months. And that was the time that I was a magician's assistant. Now, that job was so fun, being a magician's assistant, but the overall experience was a little bit rough, so I have avoided anything that, like, triggered it. <laughs> so I haven't put on lashes in a while. Uh, but I really think they're so fun. So the first thing you need to do when you peel them off is to basically like, I don't have anything on these right now, so they won't stick to anything, is to measure and see if they are going to be too long um, or too short. That's, I mean, either one is a little crazy. These actually feel pretty perfect um, for me. So when you do a full set of lashes, I put the glue right on there, bloop, like that. There's none in there, we're not doing it yet. Um, but when I do the individual lashes, ah, I put the, just a little dollop of glue on the back of my hand and then I just dip the lash in it. And then after you apply the glue or dip the lash in it, either method, um, you have to wait for it to get a little bit tacky or else it's just gonna like kind of slip around on your eye for a while and uh, nobody wants that. So you just kind of wait for it to uh, to get tacky and then you can apply it to your eyes. Okay, I'm going to do my right eye, the one on your left, I think. And so I'm just gonna put some little bunny hops of glue, really small amount. Just kind of use the applicator to spread it out amongst the whole lash. And there are lots and lots of 
So while this is getting a little pecky, uh, I will share with you. There are lots and lots of tools and tweezers that you can use to apply your lashes. I've only ever just used my fingers. I don't know um, if that's like a huge no-no. I just tape both ends and just like lay it on top of my lash line. Like this. It does take some concentration, obviously. Okay, that did not go super well for our first time around, but that's just part of the deal. Sometimes it doesn't go well. Also, a way to hide the line. This one has a clear line that all the lashes are attached to, um, but a good way to hide that is if you have eyeliner on, and I actually don't have any on, so maybe that's why that didn't go very well. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit more glue. Also, my glue could be too old. Totally an option. <laughs> Cause I got it when I got married uh, about two years ago. I also could maybe not have waited long enough for it to get tacky. So even, I used to do this, how many days in a row would that have been? Like 90? Like almost 100 shows. And, um, and I still am having trouble. So fear you not. Try to line them up with the outside because our eyelashes get thinner towards the inside anyway. Oh my gosh, this is not going well. I'm like a little embarrassed. That might be as good as it gets. Woo! They might be a little bit long uh, for my eye shape too, but let's go ahead and put these other ones on. This eye went significantly better. Maybe I should have practiced or something. You think I would kind of know how to do this. So they are a smidge long, especially in here. And they're a little bit, like, they're really spidery. <laughs> uh, they're so crazy. So you wait for them to dry and then you put some mascara on so that your actual lashes and your fake lashes kind of entangle. Um, so you can't tell as much, but let's be honest, if anyone's wearing fake eyelashes, you can tell. And I wanted to get some pretty extreme ones so that you could tell the difference between like, oh, she has lashes on and oh, she doesn't. Um, for the point, for the purpose of teaching you. Uh, so there it is. I can see that. You can see them. It takes a while to get used to wearing them. If you're not used to wearing them and you have an event that you want to wear them for, like your wedding or a banquet of some kind, definitely test them out beforehand. Like put them on at a different time so that you aren't um, wearing them for the first time like at the event and your makeup's getting messed up and your eyes are watering and things of that sort. Um, Cause you can also see them. Like I can see them right here in this eye like that way. Uh, so they're really distracting if you're not used to it. It feels like you're wearing baseball caps on both your eyes. Also, look at the, what just happened. That's so funny. I had like a Medusa moment. You can reuse eyelashes after you peel them off. That's another Medusa moment. Uh, after you peel them off, kind of take off the excess glue and you are able to reuse them. So once you practice for your event, you can take them off and you don't have to buy a new pair. Uh, I think that's all I have to share with you. If you leave them, like, to hang out on your floor or counter or something, they will scare you in the middle of the night because they look like a spider. So that's just a thought. <laughs> yeah, I, whew, feels weird to have them on. But thanks for joining me, and I hope this was informative and helpful. Um, and if you're going to wear lashes for an event, maybe start with these guys, individual ones, and then decide how you feel about them. Because uh, it's kind of a commitment if you've never done it before. And these ones are extra long, so maybe I should have trimmed them long this way and long this way. So I should have trimmed them. Um, also, the application of these ones went a lot better. Definitely wear eyeliner. Any other thoughts? Nope. Keep it real. And if that means never wearing eyelashes in your whole life, totally fine. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. See you next time!